Hey guys, it's Jordan. I'm standing in for Jim today, and I'm here with Bruce Greider. He's hey, a great morning. He's a great friend of the Paramount, and he's with Valley View Farm in Oswego. So the reason we're here today is because back in October, when we were starting to um, do the shoot, or it was back in September, when we were starting to do the PR shoot for Oklahoma, our uh, production before A Christmas Story, we went out to Bruce's farm in Oswego, and Colt Julian, who played Curly, and Allison Sill, who played Lori, um, took their pictures for the advanced PR shots on Bruce's farm. And then when we came to October, we went back out to the farm. Bruce surprised Colt and Allison and graciously offered for them to name two of his new baby horses. So we're here as a follow-up, and I don't know if you guys saw the video that we posted on Facebook back then when... Uh, Bruce was sharing that information with them, but we're here to follow up and find out what that process is like and what the names are. So, Bruce, let's take it away. <laughs> well, it's, it's really exciting to be able to do this because uh, the performances that both Colt and Allison gave uh, during Oklahoma were spectacular and uh, you know, a Jeff nominated play. Uh, I'm looking for big things from both of them, but uh, they were rather surprised that day when I brought them out to the farm. They had no idea why Jim Jarvis was bringing him back out to the farm but when they got there and I told them they were just blown away that somebody was going to let them name one of our future maybe racehorse champion babies uh, whatever name they wanted to and uh, you know I gave them the stipulations that it could only be four words or 18 letters or spaces and uh, so it took them a while to come up with a name that they wanted, but they, they were both pretty excited about being able to, to do it. And I know they were talking among each other in between uh, their jobs and stuff, but they, uh, they came up with two pretty cool names. And uh, I'm hoping that both of these horses, uh, who really um, right now are growing up just like kindergarten kids, and they will uh, not really go into training until next October, and then they will actually start racing in June of 2017. So it's a long process, but they're both beautiful horses. Uh, Lori actually has a filly, which goes with her, and, uh, and Colt has a colt. So uh, I think um, both of them are going to do well. They're out of really well-bred families, and uh, I think we uh, can do it. And you know, Linda and I had both uh, promised that whatever money that they made in their careers, that our purse money that we got, 10% of it was going to go to the Paramount. And, uh, we're hoping to make a lot of money. Uh, you know, <laughs> we've had some really good horses, and we've had some horses that were just average or you know didn't quite make it as race horses and ended up being you know riding horses or pets. So um, you know we're looking forward to uh, you know them going into training next year and seeing what so what happened. And we're really grateful. That's really cool of you guys to donate ten percent of it to Paramount. We're really grateful for that. Um, you actually brought some pretty cool props to announce the names of the horses. Yes, so I did. If you want to show us what Allison and Colt's okay. horses' names are. First of all, Allison, yeah. who was Lori Williams in the play, um, she decided to name her horse Lilac Lori. And she got that name from the Lori name in there. And Lilac from Green Grows the Lilacs by the, the 1931 play that Lynn Riggs wrote, and uh, that's what Oklahoma's based on. So she wanted to keep her name, her stage name in that, and uh, some sort of history behind it. And uh, so that's what we came up, and this would be one of the halters when they leave to go off to uh, training that they will wear. And uh, so it's a cool name, and uh, I'm hoping that uh, it does real well. And then for Colt, I need drum rolls. Ready? Drum roll? <laughs> His name in the play was Curly McLean, and uh, he decided to name it Curly's 45. And we all know, in order to get the picnic basket at the Box Social, he had to sell his gun, his horse, his, his saddle, and so he decided to name it Curly's 45 for the Colt 45 that he had. So it's pretty cool, too. Good name. Everything fit the letters. Uh, you know, the spaces and all that, so we were able to get it. Neither name were taken when I uh, got them approved by the uh, you know, U.S. Trotting Association for uh, being able to use the names. So they'll both leave at the same time next year and in 2017. Uh, and maybe we can even do an update before that <laughs> of how they're progressing, you know, growing up uh, from kindergarten to first grade and all that. Uh, when they do leave, they'll be weighing about 1,000 pounds. They're both about 500 pounds right now. So they're... They're little toddlers right now in, in the horse world. 
Just tiny right. little 500 pound towers. Right, so, but they're cool. <laughs> though. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll be able to um, get them to the races and uh, we've had very good success with uh, our horses making it to the races. I'm hoping that these two will do exceptionally well, not only to honor both of uh, Allison and Colt, but also for the Paramount Theater, because uh, we had 30,000 prescriptions this year, subscriptions, and I'm talking prescriptions because I'm a pharmacist, <laughs> um, and that's awesome, and I, we, can, we want to keep going up. Yeah, we do. Well, thanks so much for your time, Bruce. We're really excited to see where the horses go, and we'll be doing a little check-in and find out where they're at in a year or so. Thanks for having me. We miss you, Jim, but we got the job done without you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks. All right.